In 1767, Norway's oldest newspaper still in print, Adresivisen, is founded and the first edition is published. Adresivisen is a regional newspaper published daily, except Sundays, in Trondheim, Norway. Adresivisen is owned by Polaris Media, in which Sheepstead controls 29% of the shares. In 1839, the first state normal school in the United States, the forerunner to today's Framingham State University, opens in Lexington, Massachusetts with three students. A normal school is an institution created to train high school graduates to be teachers by educating them in the norms of pedagogy and curriculum. Pedagogy most commonly understood as the approach to teaching, refers to the theory and practice of learning, and how this process influences, and is influenced by, the social, political and psychological development of learners. Framingham State University is a public university in Framingham, Massachusetts. It offers undergraduate programs in a range of subjects, including art, biology, and communication arts, and graduate programs, including MBA, MED, and MIS. In 1844, the last pair of great auks is killed. The great auk is a species of flightless alcid that became extinct in the mid-19th century. It was the only modern species in the genus Penguinus. It is not closely related to the birds now known as penguins, which were discovered later and so named by sailors because of their physical resemblance to the great hawk. On June 3, 1844, the last two confirmed specimens were killed on Eldi, off the coast of Iceland, ending the last known breeding attempt. Later reports of roaming individuals being seen or caught are unconfirmed. A record of one great auk in 1852 is considered by some to be the last sighting of a member of the species. The Great Auk is mentioned in several novels and the scientific journal of the American Ornithologist Union is named the Auk in honor of this bird. In 1886, Carl Benz officially unveils the Benz Patent Motorwagen, the first purpose-built automobile. The Benz Patent Motorwagen, patent motorcar, built in 1885, is widely regarded as the world's first production automobile, that is, a vehicle designed to be propelled by an internal combustion engine. The original cost of the vehicle in 1885 was 600 Imperial German marks, approximately 150 US dollars, equivalent to $4,268 in 2019. The vehicle was awarded the German patent number 37,435, for which Carl Benz applied on January 29, 1886. Following official procedures, the date of the application became the patent date for the invention once the patent was granted, which occurred in November of that year. In 1886, the New York Tribune becomes the first newspaper to use a linotype machine, eliminating typesetting by hand. The linotype machine was a line casting machine used in printing sold by the Mergenthaler Linotype Company and related companies. It was a hot metal typesetting system that cast blocks of metal type for individual uses. Typesetting is the composition of text by means of arranging physical types or the digital equivalents. Stored letters and other symbols, called sorts in mechanical systems and glyphs in digital systems, are retrieved and ordered according to a language's orthography for visual display. In 1938, world speed record for a steam locomotive is set in England, by the Mallard, which reaches a speed of 125.88 miles per hour, 202.58 kilometers per hour. In 1940, World War II. The Royal Navy attacks the French naval squadron in Algeria, to ensure that it will not fall under German control. Of the four French battleships present, one is sunk, two are damaged, and one escapes back to France. In 1944, World War II, the Minsk Offensive clears German troops from the city. The Minsk Offensive was part of the second phase of the Belarusian Strategic Offensive of the Red Army in summer 1944, commonly known as Operation Bagration. The Red Army encircled the German Fourth Army in the city of Minsk. Hitler ordered the Fourth Army to hold fast, declaring the city to be a fortified place, fester plots, and defend it even if encircled. The Soviet Fifth Guards Tank Army attacked from the northeast, while the Second Guards Tank Corps moved in from the east, and the 65th Army advanced from the south. About 100,000 Axis soldiers from the Fourth and Ninth Armies were encircled, of whom some 40,000 were killed and most of the rest captured. 
The result was a complete victory for the Red Army, the liberation of Minsk, and the rapid destruction of much of the German Army Group Center. In 1970, Dan Air Flight 1903 crashes into the Les Aigues Mountain in the Montseny Massif near the village of Arbuches in Catalonia, Spain, killing all 112 people aboard. Dan Air Flight 1903 was a de Havilland Comet 4 aircraft operated by Dan Air Services Limited that, on Friday, July 3, 1970, crashed into the wooded slopes of the Serralada del Montseny near Arbuches, Girona, Catalonia, Spain. The flight was on a non scheduled international passenger service from Manchester to Barcelona. British tour operator Clarkson's Holidays have contracted the aircraft to carry a group of holidaymakers who had booked an all-inclusive package holiday with it. The crash resulted in the aircraft's destruction and the deaths of all 112 on board. It was the deadliest aviation accident in 1970, and remains the highest death toll of any accident or incident involving the de Havilland Comet anywhere in the world. In 1988, United States Navy warship USS Vincent shoots down Iran Air Flight 655 over the Persian Gulf killing all 290 people aboard. Iran Air Flight 655 was a scheduled passenger flight that was shot down on July 3, 1988 by an SM-2 Mr. Surface-to-Air missile fired from USS Vincennes, a guided missile cruiser of the United States Navy. All 290 people on board were killed. The jet was hit while flying over Iran's territorial waters in the Persian Gulf, along the flight's usual route, shortly after departing Bandar Abbas International Airport. The incident occurred during the final stages of the Iran-Iraq War, which had been continuing for nearly eight years. Vincennes had entered Iranian territory after one of its helicopters drew warning fire from Iranian speedboats operating within Iranian territorial limits. The reason for the shootdown has been disputed between the governments of the two countries. According to the U.S., the Vincennes crew had incorrectly identified the Airbus as an attacking F-14 Tomcat, a U.S.-made jet fighter that had been part of the Iranian Air Force inventory since the 1970s. Vincennes had made 10 attempts to contact the aircraft both on military and on civilian frequencies, but had received no response. According to Iran, the cruiser negligently shot down the aircraft, which was transmitting IFF squawks in Mode 3, a signal that identified it as a civilian aircraft, and not Mode 2 as used by Iranian military aircraft. The event generated a great deal of criticism of the United States. Some analysts blame the captain of Vincennes, William C. Rogers III for overly aggressive behavior in a tense and dangerous environment. In 1996, the governments of the U.S. and Iran reached a settlement at the International Court of Justice which included the statement, the United States recognized the aerial incident of July 3, 1988 as a terrible human tragedy and expressed deep regret over the loss of lives caused by the incident. When President Ronald Reagan was directly asked if he considered the statement an apology, Reagan replied, yes. As part of the settlement, even though the U.S. government did not admit legal liability or formally apologize to Iran, it still agreed to pay $61.8 million U.S. dollars on an ex gratia basis in compensation to the families of the Iranian victims. The shootdown was the deadliest aviation disaster involving an Airbus A300, as well as the deadliest aviation disaster in 1988. In 1996, British Prime Minister John Major announced the Stone of Scone would be returned to Scotland. Sir John Major, Born March 29, 1943, is a British politician who served as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and leader of the Conservative Party from 1990 to 1997. The Stone of Scone also known as the Stone of Destiny, and often referred to in England as the Coronation Stone, is an oblong block of red sandstone that has been used for centuries in the coronation of the monarchs of Scotland, and later also when the monarchs of Scotland became monarchs of England as well as in the coronations of the monarchs of Great Britain and latterly of the United Kingdom following the Treaties of Union. 